think the brighter mm. colors. Mm. Yeah, that's yeah. that. No, yeah. mm-hmm. go back no. to the other color. Oh, we're super entertaining right now. <laughs> we're going here. We're going canceled. Here. Immediately canceled. <laughs> Hello. Wow, look, there's 110 people already. Oh, wow. Hello. Hi, guys. Um, if you don't know who the hell I am, my name's Ash. <laughs> um, I feel like a bunch of you wonderful people have just recently found out who I am. Um, and then to everyone who I I know and love and has seen me on tour, hi again. How you doing? Mm. This is Noel Conrad, the one and only. What's up? Um, he is the main producer on Moral of the Story. We wrote it um, a year and a half ago. <laughs> A year and a half ago, the song Fun Facts came out a year ago. A year and two days. A year and two days ago. And it did this cute little thing for a while. And then now you guys are just slaying the hell out of it. Whoa, Brazil, what's good? Hello. Um, So I just wanted to pop on and A, say hello. And today um, we're actually doing a little work on the tune for reasons you'll find out about later um but also to introduce you to noah he's amazing he's so fantastic we pulled up the original pro tools session of the song so we might like play some little things do you want to play them some of the song yeah should we wait on the just a a nice little live uh little 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 duty should i sing maybe no So I actually just, um, I stop. <laughs> <laughs> I stop when we do it live. Um, anyways, so how do you say your name? It's Ash. I said I'm new here. Um, how do you say your name? Um, if you have any questions for us, we can answer a couple about this tune. Otherwise, we're just going to be... Just hang out. Yeah, know. we're just going <laughs> to hang out. I think we may watch... To all the boys I loved before, P.S. I still love you. Yeah, I still haven't seen it, so. After this. Um, like, comment with, like, a yellow heart if you know about Moral of the Story because of that movie. I would love to see. I would love to know. I love you, Ash. I love you, too. Hi from Brazil. Yo, it's number, I think it's number one on Shazam in Brazil yeah, or something. Yeah, I think I saw that, actually. If it's not anymore, I'm dumb. But <laughs> how'd you get inspired while writing the lyrics? Mm. Do you want to tell them or should I? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Ash, Ash here walked into the studio when we met for the first time and said, uh, so I just got a divorce. 
and I was like, oh, we're getting a great song today. <laughs> it's great news. Oh, we're gonna, that's, <laughs> that's great news. Yeah, when you have a, three songwriters in a room and one of you just had a divorce, you know you're going to write some, some shit. That is so funny. Yeah. Um, that's true. And then we literally just, I kept, I started like talking through the story and like the, the lawyer line is completely true. I mean, I was talking to my yeah, actual attorney. You were kind of just attorney. talking about your life and then Casey was just writing a lot of what you were saying down. Yeah, Casey like, Smith, the other songwriter <laughs> on the song. Yeah. She's like talking with my lawyer. She said, where'd you find this guy? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah, so it was a song born essentially of my divorce, which is pretty crazy that it's doing so well right now. How did Moral of the Story end up in all, all the, I can't talk, up in uh, all the boys? <laughs> Words are super hard. <laughs> Um, I have a sync company, an agency. Essentially, they're people who, like, pitch your music to, like, people for commercials and, and movies and stuff like that. So they they found me and pitched it. Um, Billy helped with the lyrics, right? Um, she helped with one line and one line alone, and that was... Um, the bridge, last, last chorus, chorus, last chorus, the down chorus, last down chorus, which says you can think that you're in love when you're really just engaged, and she changed that line, which is e easily my favorite line of the entire song, and I didn't even write it, <laughs> so fuck me, right? Yeah, but um, I found you through an Instagram sponsored story. That's so funny. Sick. What? Weird. Um. Engaged, yep, engaged was the right. Do you write lyrics or melody first? Different every time. Yeah, I would say this song that was, it was probably half and half, right? I think it was half and half. Yeah, because you, you were didn't... playing, you were playing on piano while Casey and I were talking through me talking with my divorce attorney. <laughs> yeah, I was just kind of coming up with a little riff. He was doing that, and I, I think at the time, was listening to a lot of Beatles and probably said, like, it needs to not be just a regular old pop song. Yeah. I don't remember. Do you remember much from that day? I just remember, like, yeah, coming in. Yeah, I don't really actually remember much. I just blacked it out. I mean, it was really fast. We wrote the whole song in, like, an hour and a half or something. Oh, yeah, the writing. Pops. Yeah, the lyrics happened. <laughs> it was happened. pretty just, like, lightning. Just flew out. Yeah, Casey Smith, everyone who is not in the room, um, she, I mean, she's a badass. She also has this thing where she's like, if you don't finish a song, a song in three hours, then it's a shit song. <laughs> and I'm like, fuck, I spent so much time on my song. But this one, really, it happened in like an hour and a half. Um, and then our boy, um, Phineas, came in sort of at the 11th hour and added some like cool reverse sounds and yeah, made it. Took it right up the well, your voice with Phineas would be Chef's Kiss. Thank you. I love that boy. He just he just FaceTimed me yesterday. Um Hey, what's up? Um, should we show them oh, yeah. some cool like hidden sounds? I'll get out of this seat. Let me just <laughs> I'll hold this. I'm using my super cool social media influencer also, oh, yeah. tripod. <laughs> Also important to, to note that this piano is the uh, is the piano. From, oh yeah! From the song. This is the, the piano. Played. That's great. Oh, sorry, I'm in your way. I'll get it. Hold on. <laughs> All, right. All right. Let's show them a couple yeah, little let's, things. Let's make listen to the uh, to the fun to the fun things. I need you in Europe, girl. I've been a fan for so long. I have just started talking about headlining Europe, so. Look out! Somebody said I just bought that hoodie. What you're wearing? Great hoodie. That's my. That's another song you wrote together, "Cold in California." This is the on the back turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that model. Model. Okay. Yeah. So show them a couple of little things. We got this sound. It's so cool. 
cool. These are like the hidden, I would say the hidden gems of this song. That's that keyboard over there. Which one? The, the white one. The Mellotron? Oh, yeah. And it's going, going through this, uh, this oh, little pedal yeah. over here. Eileen, my friend Eileen just goes, what's your me you son of a bitch okay continue now okay yeah it's really important stuff here uh, <laughs> uh, i spent a lot of time you know on this uh, arrangement of the bridge and i just want to make sure everyone, uh, everyone really oh gets. yeah yeah cut <laughs> my vocal my life but essentially it's going on I'm better for it so mm, should we do the very end let's do the let's do the Brit okay well we'll sing a little last minute doodly do But you're in love when you're really just engaged Some mistakes get made, that's alright, that's okay
<laughs> you ever think about how a song about your divorce has helped so many people get through so I love ya. Bye. Mwah. Say bye, Noah. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>